Hello, my name is Begoña Spiña. I'm a researcher in the International Iberian Nanotechnology Laboratory located in Braga, Portugal. And today I would like to introduce to you the project Nanoculture. Nanoculture is a project uh, funded by the Interreg Atlantic Area Program, and it's uh, devoted to the uh, study of the risk assessment and mitigation of the presence of engineered nanomaterials in Atlantic aquaculture. As you probably know, uh, there are many consumer products nowadays that contain nanomaterials. This is because uh, these nanomaterials provide a very interesting properties, uh, enhanced properties to these uh, consumer products. One example could be the, the UV filters uh, uh, in cosmetics such as sunscreens uh, that are uh, the presence of nanomaterials or uh, some coatings in textiles that provide antibacterial properties. Uh, all these uh, consumer products uh, somewhat end, uh, end their life in the environment and um, this uh, means that the engineered nanomaterials that uh, are present in those products uh, could be released in, uh, at the end in fresh waters and, and marine waters and uh, uh, the, the, the species that are living in those uh, waters uh, could be ingesting them. So uh, in this regard, uh, nanoculture is uh, taking care of uh, trying to know if uh, those species that have waters that we use uh, as uh, aquaculture products uh, we use as food uh, um, could mean a, a risk for, for human health. In this regard, uh, uh, this project has uh, three main objectives. One is the study of the accumulation and effects of nanoparticles in these aquaculture products. Uh, the second one is the evaluation of the human exposure risks uh, due to the presence of these nanomaterials. And uh, uh, the third one is the development of in situ sensors for the detection in, in water. In this project, we have uh, partners from Portugal, Spain and Ireland. Uh, from uh, Portugal, we have uh, INL, that is the project leader, and CIMAR. From Spain, we have uh, from Galicia, uh, University of Vigo, Cluster of Aquaculture, and University of Santiago de Compostela. And uh, from Ireland, we have Indigo Rock Marine Research Station. We have, as well as, as an associate partner, uh, Aquimer, and that is a pole of aquaculture in France. And the funding of this project uh, is uh, um, around 1.5 million euros. We selected uh, our target species in order to understand if uh, they could accumulate uh, the nanomaterials and if there are some effects in these species uh, according to uh, their importance or their commercial importance in the Atlantic area. Uh, that's why we selected turbot, marine mussel, and uh, seaweed that are uh, recently uh, included species in the aquaculture, but uh, with very promising um, uh, commercial value. Uh, turbot and marine mussel are exposed uh, to the nanomaterials through the feed, uh, and seaweed uh, is exposed through, through the dispersion of the nanomaterials in the water. The target nanoparticles that were selected uh, were silver and titanium dioxide nanoparticles uh, because are among the ones that are more produced and more present in, in consumer products. And uh, uh, the ones that we use in this project are uh, commercial grade uh, nanoparticles, not lab scale produced nanoparticles. And that's why you can see that they are not so uh, homogeneous in size. Uh, in, in these uh, electron microscopy images. We are in the first half of the project and uh, we are already obtaining interesting results. Uh, so we would like to invite you to follow us uh, using our website, uh, subscribing to get our newsletter and uh, following us in the social media, as you can see in the, in the slide. Thank you very much.